Right, fitting a new bath waist at my friend's house. I bought a McAlpine bath waist. Um, the bath waist basically is the overflow, the plug, the plug hole, and the thread, if you can see, it sticks out under the bath. Then the bath waste goes to the trap, which is the white section, which should be full of water, which my friend here didn't realise, but yeah, that does have water in because to stop the smell. And then, and then it goes to the waste pipe, which takes the waste and water outside. So we're gonna change the waste. So what we need to do, what tools we need today, stick saw, which is, which is really good sealant, tissue, wonder wipes, screwdriver, um, torch, just to see underneath the bath, and that's pretty much it. Right, I'm gonna get on with it. So, torch under there. First of all, we need to undo the top screw that's holding this plug in. So hold the hold it underneath, it's not actually moving, but yeah, just hold it just in case. And get this screw out. Like you can see it's moving about now, so time to hold it. You can see my friend's bath is a bit knackered. He's just getting a new bath soon anyway, but he's, he's silicone over some bits that have been damaged. Right, so we've removed this little screwdriver. I'll put that away. And this will just pop off now. Someone's just, one of his other friends came last week, tried to bodge it with a load of sticky plumbers goo, whatever it is, I don't know. Plumber's putty. Rather, plumber's putty, rather than just change the waste. So that's the top bit there. Um, another thing as well, I mean, it, someone's come and just tried to repair it with plumber's right? putty. This whole waste kit, which is quality product for Calpine, it, it, it's a fair cheap version, but it's still a, a quality brand, was six pounds for the whole lot. So not really worth repairing. So, next job is to take the, before I do anything, I'm just going to wipe some of that putty away, so it doesn't go everywhere. I'll just get a bit of that. Um, right, let's take this waste off. So basically anti-clockwise, holding the back of it, that will just unscrew off. So as you see there's thread inside, it screws onto that. So then now this can just be dropped down below. Um, another thing as well, we've placed a bowl underneath the trap. So any water that's in the trap now can go into that bowl. So just be aware that there is going to be a bit of water coming, coming out. So I'll give that a little clean. Get a bit more of that putty off. We'll come, don't, don't forget, ever sets that putty this up, which is weird, isn't it? Video cameras putting in there. He's not qualified to, to talk on this video. He hasn't got a clue what he's talking about, so ignore him. Right. Uh, yeah, the putty, that's, you know, don't try and bodge this sort of job with just a bit mm. of putty. You're just going to end up coming back to it. So, right, plug out, waste out. Now, it's a bit tricky to see. I'll just show you again. As you'll see, the waste is now basically the only thing. It's just connected to the top of the trap. 
So that should only be hand tight. So squeeze down here. You should be able to just unscrew the top of the trap. Yeah, there's quite a bit of water in here, so make sure you do have a bowl or a load of towels. But quite easy, unscrew that. Another bit of the job done. It's actually a new trap that's been put on this previously. It's not old, so other circumstances, if the trap's really old, you could change it the trap at the same time, make sure the, the washers in it are okay, but the, these are fine. Right, so let's just make sure this is really nice and clean and dry before we start putting the new waste on, any bits of silicone or uh, the plumber's putty is away. So, that top, all right, let's make sure this bottom bit's nice and dry. Give it a little bit dry underneath. Job. Open the bag of the waste. Let's see what's inside. So, what you've got in here is this that sits under the bath with a rubber washer. So, that is on the underside of the bath. Then, this will plonk onto the top of the bath. It is supplied with that, which would mm. sit under there, but I don't use that. It's pretty, never use that. I just don't, don't rate them. So I use a bit of the sealant, a bit of the sealant just to stick round, round there. So that'll go into the bath. Then this screw sits on the top in the bath. So and then it goes into that hole. So if you imagine the bath is in between there and then as you tighten this screw up, it pushes down on the bath with a bit of sealant and makes the seal. Then you've got overflow, which we'll actually put on now. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit, just a little bit, I don't have to do this, but I'm just going to put a little bit of sealant just around this. Just a little, nothing major. Right, just a little bit on there. Then we're going to... So then that's pushed on, a little bit of steel in there just to make a bit of a seal, twisting it round, and that's that, that. that wipe off round there, you don't get it all over your fingers. Um, got your easy wipes if anything, just to not get any. your hands as you go. Right, so overflow on, so that's gonna then go to this other bit, which is the overflow, which is gonna sit at the top. And again, it's got a rubber washer, sits in there on the outside of the bath. Again, 
put a little bit of silico around there. It's not that necessary, but I'm going to put a little bit on. Um, and then that will screw onto it with the bath in between. Right, so again, why we've got this now, we may as well just put a little bit of silicone on there. The sticks all sealant, which is pretty heavy duty sealant, which is my go-to one that I use all the time, it never lets me down. Right, a little bit of that. So, push that onto that, twisting it on. And so we'll get it in the right shape. So that's gonna be in the bath and then that's gonna be at the, at, the, at, the, at the overflow. So that's gonna go in the bath like that. Just like that away. I'm not getting it everywhere. to shoot. Right, so now we're going to do let's get this plug we're going to seal and it doesn't matter if you overdo this because you're going to wipe it off after anyway so a nice load of sealant round a couple of so this is instead of the wash remember so you do want a bit of sealant on here and then we're gonna pop this give it another dry make sure no tap's not been dripping on it or anything so give this make sure this is dry and then we're going to drop that perfectly central onto there. And as I pushed on, it's not really squidging out of the out of the side. So to be honest, I'm going to put a little bit more sealant on. So get from underneath, pop it back up. It's not really squashed it enough. So let's actually put it round here as well. Into the into the hole, yeah. You can you can feel it hit the, hit the stick so, and then it's, you can push it into it. Right, and then don't worry about wiping it off yet. Then get this section, the underside. Get the black washer and put it on there like this. Doesn't really matter which which way it goes, but again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put just in case there's any imperfections on from the side of the bath or anything. I'm going to just put a little bit of silicone on. Along, which will basically go onto the underside of the bath. So nothing made, just a little bit. And if there's a chip in the bath or anything, you know, it'll let water in, so that silicone will just, will just fill that. Right, get your screw. What you gotta do now, you gotta get this under the bath, under there, drop this, and you've gotta get it into that hole, basically. So, I'm gonna, the tricky bit. So put it in place with my left hand, kind of. 
and I can see where it needs to go that hole and get it in that hole. Just get it a bit tight before you have a look, make sure everything's as it should underneath and the wash is not slipped out or anything. Not the best screwdriver, it's a bit small to me. Just grab that one. A bit wider. Better. Right, got a little bit tired to wet fabric. Make sure it looks okay before I carry on tightening any further. And to be honest, that doesn't look bad, it looks pretty central. And we want to look, maybe we should attach the overflow as well before before we tighten up. So let's do that quickly. Right, yeah, before I've tightened the plug fully, I'm just gonna get the the overflow in place. So a little bit of a little bit of stick saw again. Just around there. It's been major, remember it's only gonna ever have water on it if the bath's overflowing, which is hopefully not often. Right, that's going to be on the other side of the bath. So we're going to find this little section. You can see there. So we can pop that on there. Excuse me. So we'll pop the washer on there, you can see. And then that's going to just push into that hole now. Run there like that. I'm gonna get this with the silicone and we're just gonna tighten it up. Just hand tighten it. It's absolute silicone's gonna seal it. Doesn't need to be that tight. We'll give that a wipe in a minute. To be fair, that isn't gonna be tightened anymore, so we'll give it a quick wipe. Any sticks all that come out the sides. Absolutely fine job done. So now back to the waist where we're just going to nip it up. Make sure it's all. Hold it underneath as well. I don't want the washer underneath. Just make sure this plug hole as well, it feels that it's in the, in the centre of the hole. It's not uneven, so I've given it a little shuffle over of that command underneath, and that feels pretty straight now. Right, I'm going to have a quick... Quick look under there, make sure you don't over tighten it and you end up getting the black washer all coming out the sides. You can feel it going a little bit now, so I'm gonna stop. That should be tight enough. Um, so what I'm gonna do, give my fingers a right. If it was a brand new bath, I wouldn't be knocking my screwdrivers about in it, but. Because as if been a bit rushed here. So give that a good wipe. I mean you can't really see how good it looks because you've got that big blob of silicone right next to it. But you can see the 
bug holes nice and tight. It's full of sticks all in there, sealing against the top of the bath. It's all bulls up out around the sides and I've just wiped it. So that's watertight now. Let's have a look underneath. So we go under it. And you can see where it's been tightened to the bottom of the bath. Sealant's squidged out the side, so it's all nice and sealed. I mean, could you nip it a little bit tighter? Maybe give it a quarter of a turn. Just, no, to be fair, that feels tight enough. Don't overdo it. Right, so. All the nice clean. Friend wants a bit more silicone on that, but I'll do that separate. Let's just make sure this plug is working as it should. So that is almost there. What we've got to do now is just attach the trap to the waist. So what I'm going to do, I am going to just put the camera down here for a second. And hopefully you can see where I've got to just get that in. So what I've got to do is pull this up onto the thread. And tighten up. Untie it. So just nice hand tight. Noise check, make sure these are hand tight as well. You know they've been knocked a little bit, so make sure they're not come loose. Yeah, they all feel fine. So that is basically it. You don't have to go crazy. That is it. Overflow. Attached. Waist attached. And then connected to the trap, which then is connected to the waist pipe and out of the house. So, Final job which I'm not gonna film because well I'll quickly show you but I mean basically the job is done apart from literally connecting the plug to this little hole here. Um they are quite awkward actually. I mean, what, what you have to do, I've just dropped one of them, so I'll have to find a set, but one of them, and it's the same principle on the, the other side, you need to put it through the hole. No, you don't. You need to put it through that hole. That's how it works, so it's like this. Then, with a pair of grips, something that can squeeze that, which I've got in my tool bag downstairs, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it over them holes. So it's like that. And then they just need compressing down. So with the grips in there, that pushed onto the hole. And it's the same principle on this. Just onto there like that and then squeezed with a pair of grips and that that is it job done happy customer are you happy
<laughs> very happy. Very happy. <laughs> very happy. <laughs> right. Actually, come come back to the video because the plug is now on. If you see, we've just squeezed them little little metal piece in there with a pair of grips, literally like this on there, a bit awkward, and you just squeeze, same with the plug on there, and you squeeze, and it's on. 